Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my version of the easiest smoky eye. So, and I'm actually gonna talk while I prep. Um, I'm just gonna show you the smoky eye and then I'll do the rest of my makeup off camera. But yeah, basically, so I wanted to do this idea and I'm just priming my eyes right now. Um, but I wanted, or I had this idea where I wanted to show like my version of a very simple, easy, every day if you want to, uh, smoky eye. I know there are a lot of people out there that, you know, like makeup, but they, you know, they're not like professional makeup artists. They just like to wear it. Um, and likewise, there are a lot of people out there that are not super confident, um, like in their skills, and they might not feel that they know how to do like a smoky eye. So I was actually telling my mom about this idea and she is one of those people. She's like, oh yeah, I would love for you to do a video like that. She's like, because I am not good at smoky eyes, but I would love to kind of learn how to do it. And I was like, oh, perfect. So I was like, yeah, I definitely feel like this could be a really, really good video. Now, disclaimer, because I feel like that's necessary these days. Um, I am not a professional. I did not go to school for makeup. So this is just my version of, um, of a smoky eye. With that being said, I feel like you really can't go wrong. There are like 10 million versions of different smoky eyes. You can use as many colors as you want. You can uh, do more of like a normal, just in the crease smoky eye and just blend in and out. You can do more of a cat eye. You can do a halo eye. You can use shimmer and glitter and, you know, cream shadows and, you know, you can really get crazy with smoky eyes, but this is, this is not that. <laughs> this is just a very like easy, everyday smoky eye. If you wanted to do, just do a little something extra in your eye, this is something that you could do. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I went ahead and just powdered my eyes and did a little bit of concealer. Okay, so let's talk about colors really fast. So when I originally was thinking about what I wanted to use or which colors I wanted to use, I was going to use this one. This is the By Mario Master Mattes palette. I have definitely used this before on my channel and for good reason, honestly, it's so, so pretty. If you are somebody who is really into smoky eyes or even if you're just getting started, highly recommend this palette, it's so good. But because I have used it so much, I was like, let's use some other colors. So I was looking through my eyeshadows and I found these two. So these are some NARS single shadows and I will show you guys. And these honestly remind me in like the true sense of the word of the color smoke. They're definitely more cool tone browns, but this is the shade Bali, such a pretty color. And this is a darker shade, it's called Coconut Grove. How? pretty hopefully that focuses how pretty is that and together oh so pretty so those are the colors that we are going to work with today now brushes and honestly I didn't even think about what brushes I wanted to use probably should have but that's okay okay so I'm going to use some tried and true brushes today oh and before we get started so basically what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you two looks, but they blend in together. So the first look is basically one eyeshadow and two steps. And you really can go with that and just be done with the eyeshadow. Obviously you would still want to do like mascara. If you're an eyeliner person, put on eyeliner, you know, do your brows, do the rest of your makeup. But as far as eyeshadow, it's literally one eyeshadow, two steps. Then I kind of add on to that and I throw in another eyeshadow so you can do either the first one, one eyeshadow and two steps or two eyeshadows and three steps. So that's what we're going for today. So I'm going to start off with this brush. This is by Hakukoto, it's the J5533. I have talked about these brushes so many times. You can see better there. It's just a flat top like blending brush. Love this. So working with just the first look, I'm going to take my brush and just dip into this shadow and we're going to take off the excess. I'll do this eye over here because I feel like it's easier. So basically what I'm going to do 
is I'm just going to lightly brush this color in the crease, mainly in the crease. You don't want to take it too high up here um, and you don't want to, you know, sit too low. You really want to get it into your crease. But if you go, you know, a little higher or a little lower, it's really not that big of a deal. But yeah, so we're just going to blend into the crease. Now you can do this a couple of times, but you can also, I'm going to take another brush and sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't, just depending on, you know, the, the pigment of the shadow, how much I use and all that. But I'm going to go in with another brush. This is the, I know it's by A Cosmetics. I don't know what the number is. I'll list it below. But it's basically kind of a bigger version of the Hakuhodo brush, if you guys can see. But it's a little bit, it's just a little bit bigger. I would say it's just a smidge bigger, but it's basically the same. It has a, a smidge more of a, like a rounded tip, but it's a really great blending brush. This is clean. There's nothing on it. So I am just going to go over this. And so sometimes this does take off some product, which, you know, that's okay. But it's mainly just to really help with the blending. So I can still see it. I don't know if you guys can see it. Hopefully you can still see it. I can still see it, but it's just, I mean, it's really, really blended in. Then I'm going to go back in with this one. And we're just kind of kind of go back and forth with these two brushes and this color. Again, I'm just going to blend it in the crease. I feel like actually that's good. You could leave it like this too. This could be a one color, one step video too. If you want to, you could leave it like this. I know this looks crazy right now, but I promise you if you did your mascara, especially even if you added eyeliner with the rest of your face, like the full face of makeup, trust me, it would look fine. But that's not this video. So that's not what we're gonna do. What am I looking for? Hold on. I'm looking for a brush. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I found my brush. I found a couple. So next what you want is a little flat brush like this. So this is the Mac 239, right? Yes. And this is the, yeah, Wayne Goss 18. So Wayne Goss Mac 239. If I turn them, you guys can see they are basically pinched. They're both pinched. The only difference is Wayne Goss, his brush is a little bit taller than the Mac. Now, it really doesn't matter, I guess, which one you use. It's really just your preference. I use both of these. I love both of them. Although I don't have, some people have a lot more eyelid space and maybe this one would be better if you have more space. I don't have a ton of space. I mean, I have some, but it's not like huge. So I'm gonna go with the Mac. The Mac just works really, really well for me. I'm gonna go back into that same color. We're still working with Bali. And I'm just going to pick it up on this brush. This time we are trying to stay below the crease line, really on the lid. And so it's easier for me sometimes, I will just like look up like this. And that way I can see my full lid and really where the brush is placing the pigment. So I'm just packing along. Now with this step, you can pack as little or as much as you want. You want to make sure though, that as far as the color deposit, that the color that's on your lid is darker than the color that you were um, blending in the crease. And the reason is because even though it's one shadow, it kind of gives the illusion that you did a transition color and then you did a deeper color on the eyelid. So you want the eyelid to definitely be deeper, but how deep is up to you. So this is pretty good, I feel like. You can go back in with this one, which is totally fine, but I'm gonna use a new one. This is the J5523. So this one is pinched, okay? It's pinched just like this MAC one was pinched, but it just, fans out a little bit more so it's a little bit more fluffy so it's kind of like the best of all of these worlds if that makes sense this is a really really good brush so again it's the Hakuhodo J5523 and basically what I'm going to do is I'm just kind of lining it up like this so it's parallel and I'm just going to lightly blend a little bit because sometimes 
when you are packing, you'll get like a sharp, harsh line, which is fine if you want more of like a cut crease look. But if you don't and you want that seamless effect, you might have to very last step, just go in and right there at the crease, just blend a little bit. And so that's what I'm gonna do here. Okay, so this is where we would typically stop if we're sticking to one color. I will say in blending out the crease, I noticed that I lost a little bit of my contrast. Totally fine. You would just go back in with your packing brush, get a little bit more of that Bali shade, and then repack. Now I didn't put any more of the shade on this brush just because I am gonna show you guys another color, but that's what you would do and just kind of go back and forth with the you know packing, blending, packing, blending until you have your ideal contrast and ideal look. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the Coconut Grove shade and because it is darker, I'm gonna use this brush. This is the Morphe M506. It's just a really like thin blending brush, but what I love this for and what I, typically use this for is to place the color. So I just picked up some of that and now I'm placing it on the outer one third to one fourth. The reason why I say one third to one fourth and I don't go in further is because when you blend out, it will inevitably move closer, like closer to the center of your face. So I try not to get too crazy when I'm placing it just because I know it's gonna move. And so you wanna pack a decent amount of that on now you could blend with this brush if you want, or you could use, you know, another blending brush. I'm gonna switch back over to the J5523. And now that I have that color there just kind of stamped out, I would say like on the third of the eye, now I'm just going to lightly blend. So now I feel like I have enough of the darker shade, but I kind of want to blend out the edges a little bit. You could go back into the lighter Bali shade, or you could do what I'm going to do when I'm just going to use a clean brush. Again, this is a duplicate of, I believe this was the first brush we used, the Hakukoto J5533. I grabbed another one that's clean, and I'm just going to blend right at the edge. This is just an extra step. You don't have to. Again, it just depends on how diffuse of a look that you want. Okay, so that is it for the eyeshadow. We are good to go on this eye. We just need to replicate it on this eye and then finish our makeup. So I will be right back. Okay, we are back. I'm gonna zoom out in just a second, but I wanted to show you guys up close. The eyeshadow kind of started to get a little bit splotchy on me. Like it started to like break up a little. I was trying to fix it and I was trying to like blend, but I don't feel like it was helping. So that's quite unfortunate. Anyways, okay, let me zoom out, hold on. Okay, so the good thing about smoky eyes is even if it does start to like break up where you didn't blend perfectly, as soon as you like step away, it kind of looks fine. <laughs> I'm sitting about two feet away from my mirror and it, I can't tell any of the blotchiness and I can't tell on the monitor either. So I'm hoping you guys can't see it from this, from this point of view, but I do like the look regardless of what the eyeshadow is doing. I just want to show that you can definitely do a smoky eye with one or two shades. The only thing I will say is, and I was thinking about this, like as I was kind of like finishing up my makeup is I feel like I should have chosen two colors that were like opposite, like not opposite, but just two different colors. So like a black and a brown. These colors, when I was looking at them, I was like, oh, they just really complement each other. They're not the same. They're not the same per se, but they kind of are. Like they're very similar. One just looks darker than the other, which is good because they, they definitely blend well together. But I feel like if you are going to use just two colors to get the best bang for your buck, like to get as much contrast as you can, like as much dimension as you can, you should use two separate colors, not like these two, because they have the potential to kind of blend into each other, if that makes sense. I do still see some dimension, okay? I definitely do see like some where it's a little bit more intense and lighter, where it smokes out some, 
but I feel like you'd be able to see that even more if I had chosen like a black and a brown, which by the way, those two colors, I love like warm tone like browns with not necessarily black, although you could use it with black, but like a darker color with browns. Oh, it's just, it's so pretty. Anyways, but yeah, so that is the look. I still do like the way it turned out. And I think the point is that you don't have to use 20 shades and be a makeup artist to pull off a smoky eye. Like that's definitely not the case. Also on my, where did my brushes go? My desk is a mess. Like you guys would not want to talk to me if you saw it. It's terrible. I wanted to show you really fast what I used. So I used these two brushes. This is the flat definer uh, by Sigma and the makeup forever. What is this? 216. So both of these I have used before on my channel, nothing different, but I use the flat definer with the darker shade just to stamp underneath the lower lash line. And then I will use the makeup forever pencil brush to kind of like blend it out, but it's the same two colors. I just wanted to show you guys those. Um, cause I did that off camera. And then of course I did mascara, eyebrows, everything, everything I'm wearing all lists below. And you guys, honestly, shocker, this has nothing to do with the eyes, but I used a different Patrick Ta lip liner. It's pretty much, I mean, it's very similar to the one I always use. I always use, oh, she's single. This one is, she's strong. Look how pretty that is. I mean, can we just take a second? Is that not so pretty? Oh, I was like, why haven't, and I've had this for a while. I don't know why I've not been using it. And then I just did the whole, this morning, the, you can order, if you order by like, I think 4 p.m., like Sephora will deliver to you. So I did that. Actually, no, I didn't. I did that with something else. Anyways, no, sorry. I didn't do the delivery today. This just came in the mail. This was normal shipping, which is really not important. I don't even know why I'm saying it. Anyways, this is a new lipstick I just got. So it is kind of sheer. Like I did this like 15 times, but it's just so, so pretty. Hopefully you guys can see that. Hopefully it's picking it up. So that's what's on my lips right now. And again, everything will be listed below, but I just kind of wanted to show you cause this is so pretty. I feel like this lip concoction, love it. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.